Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. In the Svarim, there is a big stress about the Yiddish name. The name uh, plays a big role in Halacha, in Ksuba, uh, for Gitten. For many places, a name has to be very, very accurate. And Aliyah uh, Latayra, and many stories, you know, by Tzadikim, by the Rebbe, when, when people who grew up in a non-religious home, weren't sure about their Hebrew holy name, and they would come over by, to the Rebbe for dollars and say, my name is Charlie, my name is Jim. Would the Rebbe tell us what the Hebrew name is Tsugapast for such a, for, for the English name? In, in, in Tanya and in Svarim, again, it says that the name of an item uh, shows of the essence of the item, so much so that it's, it's brought that when Nebuch, when a person faints, one of the tricks that you could use perhaps to, to get, wake him up, get, get his inside, is by calling him by his name. Sometimes the name wakes up the inside, the inner feelings, the inner emotions of a person, and that's how the, the shame of every year, the shame of, as the t- Tanya says, the Tzirufi Oisius from Hashem Hashem is what the whole world was created from. So I want to share with you... Um, there are two interesting uh, thoughts about two of the most powerful names in Klau Yisrael. Moshe Rabbeinu, we know that Moshe Rabbeinu is mentioned in the Torah, and in Moshe, Goral Rish, and Goral Achrein. And what's, what's, we'll leave for another time to discuss is that the name Moshe is not the name that he was given by his bris. It's not the Jewish name. It was Bas Pare that gave the name, Kimiramaya Mishisu. Because the Torah says, because Moshe means to draw, she drew him out of the water. And yet, that became the common name that we, we call Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader of Klai Yisrael, the name that Bas Pare gave him. So that's a topic for a different time. Let's talk about Yeshua. Moshe, when he is about to pass, pass away, Hashem says, we have to find somebody to lead Klai Yisrael once you move on, once you pass on. So let's look for the suitable uh, I don't want to use the word replacement, but suitable uh, leader for Klai Yisrael after you. And uh, there's a discussion in the halacha why Moshe Rabbeinu's children weren't the ones to inherit this, this position. So Moshe uh, found Yeshua, and so the, the rest is history. Let's talk about the name, what Sforim talk about, the name of Yeshua bin Nun. So the Kajnitz Magid on Parsha Shlach, he brings the Targum Yonason. The Targum Yonason says, Kad Chama Moshe Avus Nuste the Hosheya, Kara Oisa Yehoshua. That Yehoshua Ben Nun's name originally was Hosheya. But from Hosheya, Moshe added the letter Yud, and the name became Yehoshua. But the Targum Yonason says, when was it that Moshe added, and for what reason did Moshe add to his name Hosea? Moshe, Moshe, when Moshe Rabbeinu saw and realized, realized how humble Yeshua was, how humble he was, he, he switched his name, he added to his name Hosea and gave him a letter Yud. What's the connection from the Midah of Anivus to the letter Yud? Obviously, the letter Yod is small, but there must be something deeper to this. So the Kajan Samagid says, in Medrash it is brought that after Tchia Samesim, when Tchia Samesim will happen in Mir Tashem B'Meher Yameinu, uh, the Tchia Samesim, the Mesim will, will arise, will, will come out in the Seder of the Aleph Bays, meaning to say, those who their name starts with the letter Aleph, they will, they will wake up first. Once the Alephs are done, Bays, Gimel. So those with, the, with those who have the names with the letters that are later on will be later in the process of Tchiyas HaMesim. Now here there was a problem. Moshe Rabbeinu had a dilemma. Hosheya is the letter He. Letter He. Letter He is the, from the first four, five letters. So he was, he, Tchiyas HaMesim would happen. He would be from the earlier ones to, to come for Tchiyas HaMesim. And Moshe Rabbeinu was concerned that if he's going to add a letter before the letter He, it will delay his time for Tchir Samesim. 
especially he's adding a letter Yud, he's dropping down five more letters, that's it's delaying his time for Tchir Samesim. Says the, says the Targum Yonison Ben Uziel, says the Targum Yonison, that Moshe Rabbeinu was only able to add that letter because Katchama Moshe Avesnusse Do Heshiwa. When Moshe Rabbeinu saw that he was an Anav, he was able to do so. Why? Because the Medrash also says that anybody who has a, a nivus, anybody who has humility, anybody who has who is humble, he will be from the first to to wake up for tchias hamesim. So Moshe Rabbeinu felt bad adding that letter yud, not not to delay him. So he was thinking about it, thinking about. It. Then he sees I'm talking about Yeshua, somebody who has so much anivus, so humble. He's anyways got the tchias hamesim. He'll be right from the beginning. That's Hoshea Yehoshua. Then what's his father's name? Hoshea bin Nun. Bin, the son of Nun, is not a common word. We usually say Ben. It's very uncommon to find Bin Nun. Bin. Why, why specifically Yehoshua? We find that uh, the son, the father, we, we say Yehoshua bin Nun. So it's, it's brought from the Ramnach Mendel Mirimnev that he explains like this. Moshe Rabbeinu took the Yud for, for, uh, to add on to Hesheya. Where was this extra Yud? That was what, what was Sarah Imenu. Her name was changed from Sarai to Sarah. So the, there is an extra Yud floating around. That Yud, Moshe Rabbeinu put as the, as before Hesheya became Yehoshua. So now the question is, since they took it from Yehoshua, for instance, they took it from Sarai, when the Yud was by Sarai, it was a, it was, it was a letter without a sound. The last le- letter of the Sarai, Sin, Sin Reish Yud, there is no sound to the Yud. And now you're placing it to Yehoshua, and now you want to have, you're going to use that yud, and with a sound, you're going to add a shva. Where does that come from? Where did the two dots for the shva come from? So they changed, they took out the two dots from, instead of ben, which is a segel, they took those two dots and gave it to the yud, so it should, shouldn't be a silent yud, it should be yehoshua. And now we have, just to show you how a simple name a common name that we find in the Torah, Yeshua by Nun, there's so much beautiful lessons involved in it.